Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome to another Monday special. Now, a few months ago I had quite a few requests to go through my locomotive scrapyard, my uh, graveyard or whatever. I can't remember actually which video it was, I think, was it probably the, uh, the railway room tour? Uh, yes, I think it must have been. Uh, but anyway, I briefly showed the graveyard and I got a lot of comments saying, will you go through it, will you show us all the stuff? So uh, I thought that was a great idea. I haven't actually been through it all in quite a long time. So uh, I thought it would be quite nice to have a look at it and uh, go through it with you. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at some of this then. And here it all is then. These are the two boxes. Uh, it's mostly all in these two boxes. So let's have a quick look at the smallest box first, I reckon. Right. Okay, well, let's start. Let's have a look through. Now, there are some new additions to this, uh, namely this part from a turntable. It's very dirty, actually. Uh, that came from the spare turntable that I spoke about. I uh, didn't really need that part, but I didn't want to throw it away either. And that is, of course, the hut that goes with it. That's a bit dirty, so I'm going to be careful where I put that. Don't want to make a mess on the carpet. And, uh, yeah, it came with some of those tracks as well, which, again, I don't really need, but equally, I don't want to throw away particularly. So, yeah, I'll keep hold of those once again, but they're just fine in there now. Don't know what's happened to this. This is a mainline N2 body. Looks like it's been sat on. As you can see, the cab is totally crushed. Uh, so goodness knows what happened to that. Um, yeah, it's missing some parts, and uh, I think I've had one of the safety valves off it for some reason. No idea why. But uh, yeah, not very good condition that. Uh, hot glue all over the inside. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious why I didn't want to keep that. Let me zoom in a little bit. I know you're a bit far out here. There we go. Okay, we've got here a Britannia body. Um, I'm not sure, yeah, it is the Britannia number 7000. Uh, as you can see, the smoke deflectors have been taken. Uh, I've taken the, uh, the safety valves and the whistle's gone as well. And the buffers, everything like that has all been taken off. Um, I obviously wanted to use that. I also remember taking off part of this cab here so I could put that onto one of mine. So now I've got two perfect Britannias, but uh, this one was a bit of a donor, unfortunately, but that's okay. Okay, we've got uh, what looks like an old 8F body there. Um, I don't know what I'm keeping that for, to be honest. Uh, it's not in good condition and there's no bits on it. So, yeah, that's okay. And then here we have a Triang, uh, Triang Railways. Um, looks like one of their transcontinental range uh, wagons. Hasn't got any wheels and one of the bogies is uh, broken there. But, uh, yeah, might come in useful. You never know. You just never know. Okay, here's... The, uh, the corpse of my old warship, uh, mainline warship, lovely detailed body. Um, the plan was hopefully to put this onto the Hornby uh, class 43, but uh, no, it won't fit on. So unfortunately I've got this as a spare, but uh, yeah, it's okay. And in fact the chassis is here somewhere and I've already used some buffers off the chassis, so uh, that has come into, uh, come into good use already. So there we are, that's that. Um, what's this? Oh, there's another Britannia body. Goodness knows why I've got so much. Oops. What's that that's dropped off it? Oh, goodness knows. Uh, yeah, another another Britannia uh, body missing the smoke box, missing everything really. Everything's just been stripped. And again, you can see I've used the side of the cab there. So uh, yeah, there we are. That's two scrappers. Uh, I didn't realise I had two of those. That means I've got four of these lying around somewhere. It is a shame to see these lovely trying locos in such bad condition, but it means I've got two perfect ones at least. Okay, this is one that came into good use uh, a week or two ago. Um, it was for one of my customers, actually. Uh, well, this wasn't, I'll tell you. Right, this is an, a mainline N2 chassis. And I had a customer the other week who sent in a mainline N2 uh, for a service because it wasn't running properly. And uh, his was missing the motor screw. So I came into my uh, junk graveyard and took the motor screw. You can see it's missing under there. Took the motor screw from this one and uh, yeah, made his better. And, uh, you know, it didn't cost me anything because I had this anyway, so, yeah, that was good. Right, what have we got here? Uh, my best guess is that this is some sort of princess chassis. As you can see, it's gone for scrap. I've taken the linkage rods and uh, they'll be on another locomotive, presumably somewhere. And, uh, yeah, we've got the plastic wheels on the bogey, so nothing too important there. But everything uh, salvageable, really, from that has been taken. So, uh, yeah, that's a princess. Now, here is the original wheel set from my first ever... Um, Caledonian single wheeler. These were very, very rusty. And as you can see, I did try to get the rust off and I didn't do a bad job really, uh, but they were still not suitable to be used. So uh, yeah, they got scrapped and I believe I bought a, a new set. Right, in this bag, these are all the bits from the mainline warship, which I totally cannibalized and destroyed. But there's, you know, some bits that might come in useful there. There's screws, wheels, um, bits of plastic, there's even a coupling I can see there. So uh, yeah, they're always useful. I think I've delved into this bag a couple of times to take some parts, so uh, that's very good. 
Right, there's one of the uh, the tenders for those Britannias that I talked about. Uh, this one's still got its buffers actually, so I need to remember that if I have any. But I've got so many of these trying buffers, I've, uh, I've sort of stopped taking them off now just because there's so many. It's not got its coal though, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, the chassis for that would be very useful, I'm sure, if necessary. So yeah, good to have. Um, there's the uh, the princess, who remembers this? This was on my April Fool's video, uh, the, uh, the tender which uh, I cannibalized. Now I'm using, I've actually, the chassis that I made for this, I've reappropriated as a, uh, a track cleaning car. It pulls my Dapol track cleaner around. So I didn't need the body anymore. In fact, the body wouldn't fit on anymore. So uh, it's in the scrapyard, but there's that. Ooh, let me sit down. I'm getting a bit stiff sat here. Okay, ooh, that's, that looks like the coal load from that Britannia tender. Let's see if it is. Yes, it is, yeah. So that's good, got one of those if I need it, that's cool. Then we've got what looks like uh, a Jinty. <laughs> For some reason I've taken one of the uh, the linkage rods, but not the other side. So uh, yeah, that, I don't know why I did that. Um, I must have needed it and I can polish these up and make them look brand new. So uh, that's good to have. And this is a strange little thing. I think this, my best guess, leave your guesses in the comments. My guess is that this has come off one of the Triang smoke units. Yes, it looks suspiciously like one of those pieces. And uh, then we have yet another princess. Oh, and it's got, I've blue tacked on look, the, uh, the linkage rods. So uh, that's quite interesting. Uh, for some reason, I obviously didn't decide to take these off. And this is a modern chassis, as you can see. It's got the, uh, the spoked wheels, which is uh, very useful. So yeah, I can always use that if I want to. And then we've just got a box of chalk. I don't know what that, <laughs> I really don't know what that's doing there. But yeah, okay, let's have a look then. Let's move on to the big box and see what's in there. Crikey. Right, let's go through. Ooh, who remembers this? This was my terrible attempt at making a signal with uh, with some, well, it's a canister for, uh, what was it for? It was, it was a film canister, I think. And as you can see, it's got this terrible uh, three, uh, sort of filters on the front there and uh, it actually has the battery inside this compartment and then you just put switches on the other end but uh, no that's long gone but if you look on some of my old videos uh, the first person to spot this in one of my old videos um, gets a very big well done so uh, see if you can find that that's uh, that used to be in action on my railway this is an interesting piece this is one of the triang um what is it it's a horse van or something like that and i actually modified this to to run so that it had a motor in it a bit like the tender but i did this years ago and uh, as you can probably tell where's the bit there's another piece there's this i made this pickup assembly so it didn't it still ran on its plastic wheels because the plastic wheels have better grip on the track so i made this you've got the scale electric it was made out of an old scale electric car actually you've got the scale electric brush there which touched one track and then i made this uh, this sort of copper contact which uh, went onto the other track and uh, that all went in there you can see there's the scale electric gear on this axle and for some reason it's got this giant axle yeah I really didn't know what I was doing in those days but it was great fun and it did go really fast it went amazingly fast it really did it was fantastic it went as fast as a scale electric car basically uh, we've got uh, oh, oh god nasty old coaches there um, coach interiors, all sorts, roofs, windows, I'm just going to grab those and put those out of the way. Yeah, don't need to bother with that. Uh, a bogey, looks like a triangle bogey of some description. Yeah, nothing to say there, I've obviously taken a coupling off that, so uh, that's okay. Let me just have a drink. Coach roof, that's the same old coach roof, that was a triangle con tri transcontinental coach. Goodness knows what this is, this is some nasty old Lima box car of some description or it might even be a hopper I don't know but it's not got wheels or anything like that and it's not got buffers so it's only really fit to scrap that one. Oh this is interesting now this is uh, some like plastic track it sadly isn't uh, HO or 00 scale so I can't use it uh, it is just plastic but uh, yeah it came with remember that uh, little yellow loco that's at the top of the loft ladder uh, yeah it came with that but uh, I don't use it and I can't use it there's nothing to use it on uh, here we've got some chassis, looks like an old triangle chassis of some sort, not got all its wheels, has got the coupling though, so if I ever need to use a, a coupling I can drill that one off and use it, that's very nice to have. 
Another Triang wagon, obviously can't run it because it's not got the right sort of wheels and also, yeah, the inside is not nice at all and it's obviously been badly repainted as well. So uh, yeah, no sense in keeping that uh, out on the main layout, so I'll just keep it in here. Uh, that looks like one of the Hornby uh, Ringfield chassis. Um, I think there's other bits of that coming. I bought this from an antiques place uh, for five pounds and it did have the the motor, it had the Ringfield motor on it. So I took that Ringfield motor and uh, serviced it up and uh, that's now ready for spares. So yeah, that was a good five pounds well spent. Let me see if I can find the other part. Here it is. I thought this was really funny. This uh, sort I wasn't being too careful of course, because all I wanted was the, uh, the motor. So I just ripped this body off and it came clean in half like that. And I think we might find the other half later on. Possibly, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I thought that was quite funny, might as well. I might use that as a project at some point, like put a motor in it, I don't know. It's just, uh, you don't feel right throwing these things away. And, you know, it's not taking up any space sat, sat in a box like this. Old Hornby Dublo carriage, uh, can't use this particular one because it's got all metal wheels. I did keep it so that if I did ever find, um, you know, some suitable wheels to put on there that wouldn't short the two tracks together, um, then I could of course use it. But I have got a rake of these, I just don't run them very often, and uh, they do, those do have the plastic wheels. So yeah, I could always show those again if people wanted me to. Another try and coach, there's quite a lot of these so we'll fly through those. Um, a Southern Green trying coach without any wheels or anything, I've obviously harvested, yeah, you can see I've harvested the bogies off that. Still got the buffers though, and they're the, the large size buffers, so um, yeah, that's good to have. Um, oh gosh, oh here's the switches from that, uh, from that signal I made. Massive bulky switches, I mean you could probably put tens of amps through those. Um, but uh, yeah, they're actually very nice switches, I need to remember those are there. But uh, as you can see, yeah, that's what used to be attached to the end of the signal. So that's quite interesting, I don't know why I snipped those off. Um, okay, more uh, junk, that's, oh look at that, that's from my original Triang single wheeler chassis, as you can see it's all just uh, fallen to bits, the plastic's gone totally brittle on it. So I bought a new chassis for it, and I think that cost me about £12, something like that. So uh, yeah, that's just rubbish, uh, that's another, what is it, probably a Lima, uh, Austria, made in Austria, ALM. Never heard of that before. Not very nice though, is it? It's all uh, all broken. So uh, yeah, no use for that. That's a very nice uh, princess body. Very good condition. It's got all the buffers. Obviously, I didn't want to rip the buffers and the uh, safety valves off that one. So yeah, that one's in very good condition. Haven't got a loco for it, but I have got one of these that's in mint condition. So uh, that's just in case I need another one. And I really didn't want to leave that in there. It might get damaged, mightn't it? Right, we've got a couple of Jinty Shasta bodies here, sorry. Um, varying conditions, neither of them have got the crest, and uh, they've both been stripped of their buffers and safety valves and things. But nice to have in case anybody needs one. Uh, one of my customers, that is, or anything like that. Always nice to have as a spare um, to clean up. That's one of the trying exploding carriages. Um, I think it does work, actually. It hasn't got any of the exploding pieces on it. But, uh, whoa, it's a bit like a mouse trap. Yeah, so it goes along the track, and this gets triggered somehow. Don't think I've set it right. Anyway, it gets triggered, and it it hits some explosives or something on here, and it actually does make a little explosion. But it doesn't work, obviously, because it's only half there. Right, another trying coach, just fine. Um, not got the right wheels on it, really, so uh, don't use that. Here's that uh, chassis for the mainline warship. As you can see, it's uh, in bits, and uh, these buffers have been uh, shaved off, and they're now on, well, they're on a different loco. I can't remember which one. I think it's on my Hornby Class 36 or something like that. I don't know. But uh, it was the right size buffer, so I cut them off and put them onto that diesel, and that's now perfect with all its buffers. Um, more track from that uh, horrible train set. It doesn't work right. Uh, I don't know what those bits are for. That's for stopping the engine, I think. Um, yeah, more of these trying coaches. I don't really think anybody's interested in those. Um, got another princess body here. Uh, this is the early one, I think, because it doesn't have the recesses in it, so that one's been stripped. It's not in bad condition, don't get me wrong, but uh, yeah, it's not quite up to standard. It's not got the lining on it, and uh, there's some nasty marks on it. So I took the bits off it, and they'll be used somewhere else, presumably. Okay, now there's a lot of dusty stuff in here, so I'm not actually going to take all of that out. But uh, let's have a look. You've got the rear wheels for my original Caledonian single wheeler. <laughs> 
not nice, not nice. Very rusty. I'm glad I didn't try and salvage them. Um, more of that crummy track. Don't like that stuff. I need to throw it away. I don't think I've got any use for it. Um, more Triang chassis. I'm not sure what that one's for. Might be for a switcher. Another bogey from a Triang loco, which I notice I've stolen the coupling from. So that explains that. And oh, there's the other half of that. <laughs> 125. Interesting livery, it's a shame about that, but uh, yeah, it wasn't, the body was, I think, cracked already when I bought it, but as I say, it was only for £5. £5 for a whole Ringfield unit is very good, very good. <laughs> Got a little car, I won't bother taking that out. There's another piece of the exploding wagon, by the way, I'm trying one, I didn't realise there was any more of it, but uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else of interest in here. Um, oh, there's a few bits, yeah, there's a couple more bits. Uh, yeah, you've all seen those in the Hornby train sets. No idea why they give you so many of those. Um, but yeah, okay, whatever. Um, that's another, let's see, this is a Jouef wagon. Jouef? Jouef? Ah, oh, goodness knows. Um, quite nice, actually, if I put some proper couplings on it. I mean, well, there's nothing wrong with these couplings, of course, but they're not the ones that I use, so... Actually, that wagon could be used if I put the right couplings on it. Might be worth a, a project, that one. And this, of course, oh, that had stuff on it and it's gone on the carpet now. Uh, that's one of those um, mail collection bins. That's probably from my first ever uh, train set, actually, that one. Um, anything else? I don't think so. Bits of roof. Um, we've got these railway markings, as you can see. Um, yeah, that's whatever that is. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. That is my junkyard of uh, different scrap locomotives and bodies and things. I'll show you the big pile of it. There it all is. Um, yeah, it's not very nice to look at, but uh, it's very useful and uh, it has been useful already. Just uh, you wouldn't believe the little things you can get off them and uh, use elsewhere. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed seeing that. I know it's not uh, a very interesting video for some, but I know that there's some people out there who enjoy this sort of thing. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing that. Back to normal videos again uh, on Wednesday, but uh, yeah, I thought that would be nice for a little change. So uh, that's that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you did, don't forget to leave the video a like or even a comment. And I will see you on Wednesday. All right, cheers, everybody.